For decades, scientists trusted the cosmic rulebook. Galaxies should grow slowly, taking billions of years to reach the size of the Milky Way. But James Webb just found ancient galaxies so massive, so well-formed, that by the universe's own timeline, they simply shouldn't exist. It's as if someone found skyscrapers in a prehistoric village, and every textbook now hangs in suspense. If these galaxies are real, something fundamental about space and time is broken, and what comes next could rewrite everything we know about the universe. How did we get this so wrong? A few months after launch, Webb's infrared cameras locked onto a patch of sky that, by all logic, should have been nearly empty. Instead, the data came back crowded with ancient galaxies, some so old, their light started its journey just 330 million years after the Big Bang. One galaxy, cataloged as Jade's GS D13-0, sits at a redshift of 13.2. That means its light left when the universe was only about 2.4% of its current age. Another, Jade's GS Z14-0, clocks in at redshift 14.0, pushing the record even further back. For context, these redshifts translate to a time when the universe was less than 400 million years old. But the real shocker wasn't just how far back these galaxies appeared, it was how much they had already grown. Take Jade's GSC-13-0. Its estimated mass is around 100 billion solar masses, comparable to our own Milky Way. Yet, the Milky Way took over 13 billion years to reach its size. Here, in a universe barely out of its cosmic cradle, galaxies had somehow assembled enough stars to rival modern giants. The numbers weren't subtle. Mass estimates for some of these early galaxies landed in the range of 10 to the power of 10 to 10 to the power of 11 times the mass of our sun. All this when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old. Webb's near-infrared camera, NIR cam, and spectrograph NIR spec made these discoveries possible. Their sensitivity to deep infrared allowed astronomers to pick up faint, stretched out light that had traveled for over 13 billion years. Unlike Hubble, which could only glimpse the brightest early galaxies, Webb's instruments revealed a hidden population. Galaxies that shouldn't be there, and certainly shouldn't be this big, this soon. And it wasn't just one oddball. Webb's surveys began turning up more of these galactic heavyweights. Some were so red, thanks to dust and distance, they earned the nickname Red Monsters. Others, like Jade's GS-14-1, showed up as compact, but blazing with new stars, forming at rates that defied every expectation. The data poured in. High redshift, huge mass, intense star formation, all in a cosmic blink after the Big Bang. On paper, these galaxies are impossible. They're too massive, too organized, too soon. The standard model said the early universe should be a place of small, chaotic blobs, slowly merging over eons. Instead, Webb's mirror caught a universe already busy building cosmic cities. The evidence was no longer a matter of theory. It was written in the spectra, in the mass, in the sheer number of ancient giants staring back from the edge of time. For decades, the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model has been the rule book for cosmic history. It lays out a simple path. Gravity pulls together small bits of matter, which slowly merge and build up into bigger and bigger galaxies. In theory, the earliest galaxies should be small, messy, and inefficient, barely more than cosmic building blocks. According to this model, it takes at least a billion years after the Big Bang before anything resembling a modern, massive galaxy can even show up. The numbers are baked in. The universe starts smooth, dark matter clumps together, and only then do stars and galaxies form in earnest. Simulations built on these rules have been so successful, they're called the standard model for a reason. But when Webb's data arrived, the math didn't just look off, it looked broken. The galaxies it spotted weren't tiny or chaotic. They were huge, organized, and already bustling with stars, all within the universe's first 500 to 700 million years. Some tip the scales at over 100 billion solar masses, putting them in the same weight class as the Milky Way. 
That's not supposed to happen until much later. The standard model says you can't get that much mass that quickly without breaking the laws of cosmic assembly. It's like checking a recipe that calls for a slow simmer and opening the oven to find a five course meal already plated. The real kicker is the way these galaxies seem to skip steps. Lambda CDM predicts hierarchical growth. Small halos merge, stars form slowly, and only a fraction of gas becomes stars. Yet Webb's ancient giants appear to have converted gas into stars with record-setting efficiency. Instead of a slow climb, it's a leap straight to the top. The rulebook says the universe should be filled with dim, scattered proto-galaxies at this age. Webb finds cosmic cities, already bustling, their light crossing more than 13 billion years to reach us. Every time astronomers run the numbers, the contradiction grows. The model predicts a universe that's just not there in Webb's images. Galaxies this big, this early, should be impossible. And yet, there they are. Proof that the universe isn't playing by the rules we thought were set in stone. Astronomers barely had time to process the first Webb images before the debate ignited. Within days, research teams were trading emails, preprints, and even memes, everyone scrambling to explain galaxies that weren't just early, but impossibly massive. Joel Legia from Penn State didn't hold back. We've been informally calling these objects universe breakers, and they have been living up to their name so far. Theories started flying. Some insisted the data had to be wrong. Maybe Webb was picking up something closer, masquerading as ancient. Others argued the galaxies must be powered by hidden supermassive black holes, not stars, but the numbers kept coming back big. Rachel Somerville, a leading theorist, called it a tizzy. Webb found a lot of very luminous galaxies, at very, very early times, pumping out huge amounts of ultraviolet light. The theories that had been published before Webb launched did not predict that large a number of such bright galaxies. A few voices tried to calm the storm. Maybe the galaxies were just forming stars with wild efficiency, turning nearly all their gas into stars, instead of the slow trickle everyone expected. Or perhaps the first stars were monsters themselves, burning hotter and faster than anything around today. But even the optimists admitted the standard models were straining. We looked into the very early universe for the first time and had no idea what we were going to find, Legia said. It turns out we found something so unexpected it actually creates problems for science. Meanwhile, the rival camps kept growing. One group pushed for new physics. Maybe gravity works differently in the early universe, or dark matter isn't what we think. Others doubled down on measurement, calling for more spectra, deeper imaging, anything to catch a mistake before rewriting the textbooks. The phrase universe breaker started showing up in conference slides and Twitter threads, half joke, half warning. No one wanted to blink first, but everyone agreed. The rules of cosmic history were suddenly up for grabs. Picture the universe as a cosmic clock, its hands sweeping across billions of years. Now imagine someone just smashed the glass and moved the hands forward, fast. That's what these galaxies are doing to our timeline. If galaxies like Jade's GS Z13-0 and the red monsters really did assemble in just a few hundred million years. The entire story of how structure forms in the cosmos might need rewriting. Maybe the universe built stars and galaxies with turbocharged efficiency, burning through its gas supply at record speed. Or maybe there's something deeper, a flaw in how we think gravity and dark matter shaped everything. Some scientists are now asking if our best models, like Lambda CDM, are missing a piece. Could dark matter have clumped faster or acted differently in those early days? Or did some unknown ingredient, like early dark energy, give the universe a jumpstart? The Hubble tension, this stubborn mismatch between how fast the universe seems to expand now versus what the early universe tells us, just adds fuel to the fire. Webb's data isn't just a puzzle about galaxies, it's a clue that the cosmic clock itself might be off or that the rules of cosmic expansion are more complicated than we guessed. That's why astronomers are pushing for more data, more spectra, more time on the telescope. 
Every new observation is a chance to catch another cosmic rule breaker, or maybe to find the pattern that makes sense of the chaos. The Roman Space Telescope is already lined up to join the hunt, promising even deeper surveys and sharper tests. If these galaxies hold up, the next few years could see the biggest shakeup in cosmology since the discovery of dark energy. It's a rare moment where anyone, scientist or not, gets to watch the universe's rule book being challenged in real time. So what if everything we thought about the beginning is just the prologue? The real story might be stranger and bigger than we ever imagined. In July 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope identified galaxies with masses near 100 billion suns existing just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. According to the Lambda CDM model, galaxies of this size should not appear until at least 1 billion years after the universe began. Peer-reviewed studies, including the Jades and Sears surveys, confirm the redshifts and luminosities of these objects. Yet the exact process that allowed such rapid growth remains unexplained. Published reactions from astronomers, some calling these universe breakers, highlight the uncertainty. While some researchers propose earlier star formation or revised dark matter physics, no consensus has been reached. Follow-up observations with Webb and upcoming missions like the Roman Space Telescope are planned to test these findings. The existence of massive, mature galaxies so early challenges the foundational timeline of cosmic evolution. Today, the evidence stands. Galaxies exist where theory says none should. The rules of the universe, based on decades of observation and calculation, now face one of their sharpest tests.